So we have here a basic example of um, torsional shearing stress. So we're given with the following data. G, the L diameter and your torque. And then we're asked to find the maximum uh, torsional shearing stress and your angle of twist. So the statement of the problem, a detailed uh, statement of the problem is uh, given in the description of the video. So just uh, refer to the description for the detailed presentation of the problem. So solution, so this one is a straightforward um, example, no? problem, wherein we just, uh, we can directly substitute the given data into our equations. No? So shear max is just equal to 16t divided by pi d cube. So we're given with torque, we're given with diameter, so we can evaluate this, 16 times 15 keep foot so we just have to convert feet because our diameter is given in inches so we have one foot is actually 12 inches and then we can have the a pi and then we have four inches cube so this one cancels out this one just becomes two we now have keep per inches square or just ksi we have 410.3 is I as your stress max. So, no? so that's one down. For the theta or the angle of twist, that's TL, TL, JG. So theta equals uh, TL, ni JG. That's how we remember this equation. Theta equals TL, ni JG. <laughs> anyway, no? So, again, no, direct substitution of the torque, the length, the J, and the G. We'll have torque equals uh, 15 foot. So, we can keep the keep because uh, we can express the G in terms of KSI. So, we only need to convert this uh, foot times uh, 3 foot. Uh, so, uh, 1 foot. 12 inches squared no? because we have two um, entities of, in uh, feet we have j is just uh, pi over 32 times d to the 4 which is uh, 4 inches to the 4 and then we have the g which is 12 times 10 to the 3 keeps per inches square so this cancels out both of them cancels out the inches square we also cancel one of the inches here and then this one this one so we now have radians the keep source also cancel out with this which is equal to 0 0.0215 radians so in terms of degrees you'll have um, 1.23 degrees how do you get this? In the degrees, you just have to multiply times uh, this is pi and 180 degrees. You will arrive at this answer. So again, uh, we just uh, substituted our given parameters data here into these equations to get uh, what is required by the problem.